and gals welcome back to doing redneck things off grid today is going to be episode 62 of I have questions it is August 22nd 2023 uh, so I get some pretty good ones this week I always, oh, it's been a crazy week we had uh, we got uh, 1.87 inches of rain that's a lot of rain for the desert so we need we needed it to get that lake uh, Lake Mead and uh, Hoover Dam all built back up again hopefully but man it was, it's been a, a rainy couple days anyway so let's get to this so why is it when someone gets stopped by law enforcement and are suspected of drinking and driving and they've, they're they asked how much that they had to drink and they always say, I only had a couple of beers or a couple of drinks. Is, is, like, is that the standard response when you've been drinking and you get pulled over? I only had a couple of drinks. It's like... Oh, and and then I've been watching the sobriety test things on YouTube, and these people are. <laughs> I only had two drinks, but I can't walk from your car to my car or my car to your car. Whatever, it's like God. Just give up. I mean, you've been drinking. You've been drinking. That's that's. If you're stupid enough to get behind the wheel, you got to pay the consequences. Just say, yep, you got me. So that's number one. No, number two. So apparently there's a new trend going around that uh, you got to walk up and smell somebody's shirt or sweater or coat or to see if it smells <laughs> smells pretty I don't, <laughs> suppose, I don't know it's been a, one of them silly uh, commercials for laundry so uh, everybody's going ooh you smell you stink pretty <laughs> it's just oh my god so <laughs> sniffing people to see if they smell <laughs> that I don't know. It, 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 it's it's silly. So that's number two, smelling people to see if they smell good. <laughs> so number three. So apparently there's a big onslaught of pooping in the woods. So you know you go on a hike, you go camping, you got to poop in the woods. Well, somebody invented this thing called the loop and poop. So. <laughs> It's a, it's a it's a it's a strap like a belt you you put it around the tree and it allows you to squat down without falling over so that you can poop in the woods but make sure you dig a hole first and bury that poop so and it also it it comes with a toilet paper roll holder and everything, so... <laughs> you know, I've been watching this uh, uh, World's Dumbest Videos and they have the world's smartest inventions and this this was one of them. It's a looping boop. In case your legs ain't strong enough to squat down and poop in the woods, so... I don't know. I don't remember how much it cost, but it was. It was a, must be a good idea. So. so, number four is. So Leanne was going through her social media the other day, and somebody asked where the best place to find barbecue in our town in our town was, and she had 95 comments telling her the various places to go and prompt for. Uh, for the, to find barbecue, but. The best answer was 
go to Home Depot, you can find barbecue there. It's so... <laughs> that was just too funny not to put on here. So... <laughs> the best place to find barbecue. Home Depot. <laughs> Number five. So, I was watching the other day, these two guys rented a boat to get pictures of sharks. They were out on the, they took a boat on the ocean and they rented a, one of them shark cages so they could get down in the cage to, to, uh, so they could photograph and encounter live sharks, live sharks. So the guys are down in the cage and they're chumming for sharks and the sharks show up and the holes in the cage weren't small enough and the shark got in the damn cage. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't get all the way in because, you know, it stopped. it stopped at the dorsal fin. But I was like, how stupid is that? Can I... Sorry, I get that itchy ear every time I video and start laughing. It's like, Bubba... We're gonna go take some film film of sharks. Let's rent a boat in a shark cage and get in it and take pictures. And they, evidently they got it the shark cage from Fat Freddy's shark cages or something. <laughs> the holes were too big. <laughs> God dang. <laughs> That's number five. God. Number six. I got this one, for, uh, the next tour from G-Bear. He wants to know, uh, in the old days when the knights and the kings and stuff would go out and go off to war and they put chastity belts on, the, on their wives to keep them faithful while they were gone so they couldn't have sex with other men. So, he wants to know how did she pee and poop with the chastity belt on. And I want to know too. God, that's got to have been uncomfortable for that poor gal. And not to even guess about how unsanitary it was. So, how did they poop and pee with the chastity belt? I don't know. Number seven. Okay, this one's a little more in Syria. Everyone knows who they are and where they are, and w why? Why are they still on the streets? Of course, I'm talking about the human traffickers and the, the traffickers that take kids and stuff. They all know. You know, they know who they are, where they are. Why have there been no arrests? This uh, uh, human trafficking thing is getting way out of hand. Way out of hand. So, that is number seven. Arrest these people, please, come on. And execute them all. I mean, that's my opinion. They need to be executed. So, number eight. So they have a litter box that automatically takes the poop out of the litter. I guess it's like a drum and the, and when the cat goes in there and poops after the cat leaves it's got these this scooper thing that rakes through the litter box and takes the poop up and drops it into a container but the funny thing is it also keeps real-time track of when your cat poops why the hell do you want to know that it's like Gideon <laughs> the message on your phone. <laughs> hey, honey, the cat just pooped in the litter box again. Good for kitty. What the heck? God. World's gone. Oh, God. I swear to God, I know, there's something wrong with my ear. But anyway, that's it. Keep track of your poop. Your cat's poop in real time. <laughs> oh, the app on your phone. 
How exciting is that? That's just wrong in so many ways. So number nine, this is kind of, uh, after this big storm, this is uh, kind of a thing that needs to be gotten out there. So why do people think they can drive through water rushing over the road? Why, why do people think that they can do that? Your car, you know, most of them tiny cars weigh, you know, like a couple of thousand pounds. Big trucks might weigh seven, eight thousand pounds. But take it from a highway maintenance worker, road worker, and road repair guy. Don't drive through rushing water. You have no idea what's under there. You don't know how deep the undercurrent has teared out the road. It could be... You know, yeah, it might be a foot deep, two foot deep, but then there could be the big hole that swallows your car. You guys, please don't drive through rushing water. It's not safe, no matter how big or badass your truck is. A little story, I was working for, for Caltrans and we had a big storm and I had to go from one little town to the next little town, which is uh, like half hour 45 minutes away and on the way I hit a spot in the road that was flooded and there was probably two three feet of water in there I was in a 10 yard dump truck and I had to get to the other side to, to in case somebody's stranded and in the water I'm in a 10 yard dump truck holds 10 yards of dirt big big dump truck and I drove knowing you know a little bit of how to do this stuff because I did it we did it for a living is I drove I was I was heading north so I drove on the southbound lane as close to the shoulder as I could get because uh, the shoulders dirt and you don't know if anything washed out so I drove two three feet of water and I drove on the left the, the left lane the southbound lane and I drove across it and it was probably maybe 25, 30 yards wide, uh, the, the rushing water. I mean, the water's rushing good. And uh, I drove across, and as I got, as I started going, 10 yard dump truck started to move, and by the time I got through the water, I was in the, back in my own lane. So think about that next time you want to drive through rushing water. It, it it happens so fast. I mean, we're, there uh, there's people all over to get stranded in Russian water. You know, cars weren't made to go in water. You want to go in water? Buy a boat. So please be safe out there in big storms. Don't drive through water because you don't know what's under the road. So all right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Uh, God bless. Support your troops. Uh, get out and meet your YouTube friends get out and vote we got voting coming up next year and we're already knee deep in knee deep in politics commercials and let's get out and vote and take a friend to vote and get these people gone alright everybody God bless I'll see you on the next one bye bye